Well, good morning. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude business briefing for Thursday, July 23rd. And as you know, on these briefings, what I'm trying to do is explain to people in the business world how incorporating gratitude into their everyday life can make them such more effective employees, leaders, managers, owners, whatever it might be. And a couple things I want to talk about today is just this concept of embracing gratitude and setting a good example. You know, the old thing I learned about raising children, having two sons, and and managing a lot of employees, some of the stores, four, five, six hundred employees that I managed, is that you have to set a great example. And I talked about that in an earlier briefing, but I want to emphasize it again. You can't say, you better not smoke, but I'm over here puffing away. So setting that great example and embracing gratitude is the way you can lead people effectively. People want to do what you do, not what you say. And so it makes such a big difference. And I know for me, I worked at Nordstrom for a long time and got seven or eight promotions in 15 years. And how did I get those promotions? Treating people with respect, treating them with the golden rule, always being grateful for them, never ever asking them to do something without starting with, would you do me a favor? Would it be okay? When you have a second, when you have a moment, I would really appreciate it if you would do this for me rather than ordering them around. I would deal with managers that would say, but I'm the manager. I can tell them whatever I want to do. And I go, well, I guess you can. I guess technically you can, but you're not going to get very far that way. When you ask somebody, I think the most common go-to statement for me was, would you do me a favor? When you have a second, can you move these boxes here? and so forth. So it makes such a big difference. And clearly understand too that patience is involved here when you're managing people or anything else you're doing in the corporate world or anywhere in the business world is it takes as long as it takes and you just can't ever give up. And I know there's many people that are heroes of mind. Uh, Colonel Sanders, 63, I think when he started KFC, Mary Kay Ash, uh, Ray Kroc, um, J.C. Penney in their mid-50s and so forth. People that started, I started very in late, late in life being a speaker and a coach. And it just was something that I found that it doesn't matter if you have a passion. And I think we want to make sure if you really have a great connection with yourself and then you find your passion, you'll probably find your purpose. So that's some of the things to consider today for the daily gratitude business briefing. Think about how you're uh, managers, managing your employees and being an employee yourself. And remember that goal and the rule, treat those as you would like those to treat you, you'll go a long ways. It'll make such a big difference. So that's the, the daily gratitude business briefing for today. Remember, be grateful and never quit. And we'll see you tomorrow.